Uh, Joseph Napick, member of the Board of Apportionment and Taxation. The Board of A&T report to the Board of Aldermen deserves comment. One, no one from either party advocated increased taxation to remedy the Board of Education situation. That statement is an assertion of fiction. Number two, the partisan A&T report states that 6.2% spending increases year after year can't be sustained. What years are we talking about here? The finance director stated that 6% of the budget, $6 million, is needed to satisfy bonding agencies. The unassigned balance was $12,275,000 on 6 dollars and it's likely to be the same this year. Subtract the $3,250,000 Board of Education request, that leaves $9,025,000 as surplus, enough to satisfy bonding agencies, fund the Board of Education, and have $3,025,000 budgetary farce. The a and report is accurate in that it states department heads should be strongly urged to attend their interview to answer and discuss. Hopefully the mayor will urge his department heads to do so. Along those lines, and as an example of poor budgetary planning, one, the street department did not appear for at least two years at their budget hearing. Two, without notice, so as to preclude preparation time, a telephone conference was set up with the head of the street department to discuss budget. Three, 11 people representing social service agencies remained in room 204. Four, 11 people were held hostage during the failed telephone conference. These comments are an example of a poor way to run a government. Hopefully things will improve, but I won't hold my breath. Thank you.